Welcome back. We found uh, a picture of Abby and Hannah. Hopefully that will be enough to get her to disconnect from the dreamer and talk to us and hopefully tell us where we can find Hannah. Which will hopefully satisfy Queenie so she can give her support to the campaign. Although, if the data we found for um, Baruti actually indicates some problem with the campaign, do we really even want that anymore at this point? Oh well, we want to find Hannah anyway now because of those images we saw. Alright, let's show her the photo. You're friends with Hannah, right? What? From the picture. It looks like you're good friends. I don't know what you're talking about. Just go away. Hannah's in trouble and I need your help finding her. I don't know where she is. We're not friends anymore. What happened? She wanted me to stop using the drain machine. Says it's a sickness that I'm addicted. We were best friends. More than that. But now, I haven't seen her in ages. The last time we spoke, she was upset and scared. Why was she scared? She didn't want to tell me. She just, she said she needed to disappear for a while. She left her nest, found somewhere else to hide. I don't know where. I think she was afraid they'd get rid of her after she finished the job. Who are they? I don't know, all right. I told you already, I haven't spoken to her since. And you have no idea where I can find her? Maybe she mentioned something to you, somewhere she could be hiding. No, I... There was another nest at the end of the bricks. She brought me there once. She called it her secret burrow. No one goes there. It uses a different key from all the other shelters. When she wasn't looking, I... I grabbed an extra key that was lying around in case he ever needed to hide. Maybe that's where Hannah is. But I honestly don't know. Please leave me alone. Where's the key? I don't fucking know! It's around here somewhere. I, I don't know. Can I go back to my dream now? The dream machines, they're... dangerous. I think they're dangerous. You shouldn't be hooking up. What else is there to do in this rat hole? Study for my law degree? Just fuck off back to your cushy upstairs life. And leave me alone. Okay. She really should not be doing that. It is dangerous. But in her position, it's not like I can really blame her. We need to find the vent tool in this room. I don't think you can actually do that before you've talked to her. Abby. She's totally addicted to dream time. And she's not the only one. There's some boxes here. Let's look in those. Nothing in here. Got it. The pink key head. Well, we've already seen where that tower is with the pink door. Pink lock, I guess. It's a key to one of those hatches. No special description. Might as well do that. And see if we can go in there and maybe we can find a lead to Hannah's location. And then hopefully we can be done with all this running around. It is at the end of the bricks, which is all the way around here, past the stairs leading up to Zonenshine Plaza. You know, you don't have to stop here. I don't have any press it. And he's still trying to sell stuff. Any more baiju? I hope not, because I don't want any.
I guess it's the only thing that's there to do on this little corner here. Just one of these towers. Alright, let's see if we can open it. No reason why we couldn't. No eye officers nearby. And it works! Let's hope something is here that will tell us where Hannah is. Hmm. Or it could just be empty. Get the fuck out of here! Or not. Are you Han- Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Just, just put that knife down. Who are you? What do you want? The best thing to do right now is to stay calm and tell her my name. I should let her know why I'm here. I mean, she has no idea who I am. Yeah, telling her where Zoe isn't really going to prove anything to her, I think. Queenie sent me. Queenie? Why? She's worried about you. Tell her not to worry. Tell her I'm just peachy. Now get out. Well, that sounded believable. I finally found Hannah. Now I just need her to talk to me. Yeah, that would help. I can't just tell Queenie you're peachy. She'll ask questions. She wants to know if- I'm fine. Really. Fine? Fine. <laughs> nice options there. Abby said Hannah's scared. That she's on the run. I don't think she's fine at all. I don't believe her. There must be another way to get through to Hannah. Mentioning Abby might actually work. Abby said, if you're fine, why are you running? Who said I'm running? Abby did. She told me, Abby, so that's how you found me. She blabbed that, that duper. She's always been weak. I didn't give her much choice. I had to find you. She won't tell anyone. She's always trouble. And she's addicted to the dream machine. She really misses you. She's not my responsibility. We're not... I'm not her girlfriend, not... I'm not good for her. She's not safe around me. She'll get her. Why? Who's after you? All these questions. Who are you again? Zoe Castillo. Right, and how is any of this your business, Zoe Castillo? Who do you work for? No one. Seriously, enough with the paranoia. Queenie wanted me to find you. She's concerned. That's the only reason I'm here. You could show some appreciation for the people in your life who do care. In my experience, they usually want something in return. You might be surprised. Don't underestimate people. Don't overestimate people. <sighs> Look, I... I did... stuff. A job. A dangerous job for some very dangerous people, and now I have to watch my back. Then let us help you. You can't help me. Queenie can't help me. No one can. If they find me, you really don't know who you're dealing with, and there's no way to stop them, all right? So just leave me be. Um, I have a feeling it's not either of those, but... Could she be running from Mr. London? He controls the criminal underworld in Propast. He might be connected. Maybe she's running from the Eye. They must know about Hannah's gang, and they can't be very happy about it. I have a feeling it's not either of those, but I have to pick one, so... If you're on the run from the Eye, I'm sure we can find a way to... The Eye? <laughs> I've been running from the Eye for years, duper. No, it's worse than that. These people control the Eye. They control everything. I'm done talking. Go back to Queenie. Tell her to not worry about me. I don't think that'll be enough to make her stop worrying. Fine. One second. Give her this. Tell her I got your message, that you did your job and that. Tell her that I'm working on it. Those paintings in your room, did you paint them yourself? You were in my nest. I, I was looking for you. That doesn't give you the right to break into my home, Suka. Those are my drawings. Why? I recognize the images from dreams. Look, I know this sounds crazy and I can't explain They're it, from but... from dreams. My dreams. And no, I don't use a dream machine. I just have... 
weird dreams. Why would we have the same dreams? How do I know you're not lying? I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Just go away. I just... <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. No answers for coming about that part. I guess we just have to go tell Queenie that she's okay, even though I doubt it. It's a dragonfly. Hannah's dragonfly. I think she made this. We saw Queenie make those dragonflies too. So maybe she got it from Queenie? Or maybe she just learned how to make them from Queenie. Hannah asked me to give this to Queenie. It probably means something to her. Probably. Hannah's dragonfly. I think she made this. I don't think we can talk to her anymore. Hannah wants me out of here. Please leave before anyone sees you here. Nope. So we have to bring Hannah's gift to Queenie. Wait. Wait. Um, okay, or not. Is it true? About your dreams? I... I only remember the one dream. But there have been many others. I have amnesia, but my memories are, are starting to come back. And your drawings... I've seen those images before. It can't be a coincidence. No coincidence, no story. Zoe, right? Zoe Castillo. I'll think about what you said, Zoe Castillo. If I think you're telling the truth, I'll look you up. Now, I really need you to leave. I have things I need to do, and you shouldn't be seen down here with me. No coincidence, no story. I think we heard Queenie say the same thing. wonder what they're talking about. Interesting, though. I do wonder how it's possible that we could have seen those same images. Has she been going to Arcadia in her dreams? Did she meet up with Abnaxus? How much of it does she remember and does she realize that it's real? That's all very good questions. Okay, two things we need to do get that dragonfly to Queenie, and we still need to visit Mira and the Pandemonium to decrypt Birdie's data. If Shitbot is done with his uh, work. Doesn't look like he is from here, you can see the welding. So Queenie first, I guess. The Madame is in. She's been expecting you. Oh, well. That's convenient. At long last, the castle dweller returns. I'm really sorry I took so long. Tut, tut, this is delicate work. Stand perfectly still. Fly, little one. You look tired, Miss Castillo. Is everything all right? I haven't slept so well. No. And have you found what you were looking for? You mean, have I found purpose in my life yet? I guess I'm still looking for some sort of deeper meaning. Don't expect it to strike you like a lightning bolt from a clear sky. Purpose and meaning are rarely revelations, but rather slow awakenings. And meaning is what you make of it. I find great joy and purpose in building my little creatures. So, any news about our Hannah? I assume that's why you're here today. She asked me to give you this. She says she's fine and that she's... she's working on it? How did she appear to you? Do you believe her when she says she's fine? Hmm, what to say? There's no reason to worry, Queenie. I'm not sure that will help Hannah. Or convince Queenie to give the campaign her full support. 
I don't want to worry, Queenie, but Hannah did not sound fine. Maybe it'll hurt the campaign, but I don't think I should keep this from her. There is a distinct possibility that Queenie could help Hannah if she knew what was going on. And especially in light of Barudi's findings, I think that is way more important than the campaign. Especially since we want to find out more about Hannah and find out what she's been seeing in her dreams. Honestly, I don't think she's fine. She's scared. Her friend Abby told me she's been hiding. She's afraid of something. Someone. She didn't say who? Abby didn't know. And Hannah wasn't very forthcoming. She doesn't trust many people. She barely trusts me, and I have... Well, I hope I've given her enough reasons to trust me. But she's had a hard life, poor girl. I appreciate your honesty, Zoe. Thank you for tracking her down. Where is she now? If we tell her, she might be able to help. On the other hand, Hannah explicitly told us not to tell her, and I'm not sure we want to betray her trust. It can't hurt letting Queenie know where to find Hannah. Maybe she can help. I can probably trust Queenie, but I don't want to betray Hannah's trust. Yeah, let's not start off on the wrong foot there. I made a promise to Hannah. I understand. I won't press the issue, even though I might be in a position to help her. You have gone above and beyond your duty, Zoe. You have shown that you care about our community. And while I'm still worried about Hannah, at least now I know she's alive. Very well. You asked for my support, and you have it. I will endorse your candidate. The bricks stand behind Unity and Leah Uminska. Um, is that such a good thing? That's the question we have to answer right now. Maybe Unity is involved in something illegal. But if I tell Queenie that, she'll probably withdraw her support. And that will damage our chances in Propast. Yeah, but do we want them to get elected if they're involved in something illegal? On the other hand, what's the alternative? It's not like any of the other candidates would be better. Maybe Unity and Uminska are innocent. But I can't keep the truth from Queenie, regardless of how it affects our campaign. Queenie is the kind of person who would find out the truth anyway, and even though we don't know yet how severe the problem is, I think it's best to be honest with her. I wish I could just accept your support, but I can't. Not now. Oh? And why is that? Lea Uminska might be involved in something illegal, or at least unethical. We don't know for sure yet. That is unfortunate. Even the possibility that Unity might be mixed up in something objectionable makes it impossible for me to lend my support to the campaign. I'm sorry, Ms. Castillo, but there is too much at stake. I do hope your investigations uncover no funny business, but I'm afraid this means I cannot support the Social Democrats. I hope you understand my position. I do. And I'm really sorry. So am I. If you ever need my help with anything else, I'm here. I owe you that. I'm afraid there's work to do. So I'll have to ask you to leave. Good day, Miss Castillo. Oh, before you go... Yes? You mentioned you weren't sleeping well. Do you dream? Constantly. Yes. Pay heed to your dreams, Miss Castillo. Do not underestimate them. I remember the first time you visited. I told you you weren't quite here. And you're not. Part of you is lost in dreaming. And part of you... Part of you is a dream. You're not all here. That worries me. I think more than anything, you need to remember. And you need to wake up. 
W what do you mean by... I don't know. Like I said, there is work to be done. But remember, I'm here if you need me. Well, that was... Welding, 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 welding! I guess he's finished the job. With any luck, he hasn't screwed up and I won't get fried when I ring Mira's doorbell. That would be nice. Anyway, that was cryptic as ever. I wonder what she means, and I wonder how much she knows about Zoe, about Hannah, and if there's any connection there. That would be difficult to find out, I'm sure. Unless she plans on telling us. Not right now, anyway. Um, we have new goal, which is just to bring the data to Mira for encryption, because shit bot is done. And let's indeed hope that we will not get fried when we ring the doorbell. Seems okay. There's Wit again. He has a weird artificial leg. That must be Wit, Mira's partner. He programmed Kidbot's personality, so that immediately makes him a million times more likable than Mira. And we already heard that. There's Mira. No returns, Kutria. All sales are final. That's not why I'm here. Then what do you want? You said you're the only one who can decrypt the data. The firmware upgrades and sniffer were freebies, Petal. But this... I'll charge for. How much? Oh, I'm not looking for Yuan, Petal. I'm looking for a helping hand. To do what? Haven't made up my mind yet. When I do, I'll give you a ring. No thanks. I'll ask someone else instead. Here's the thing, Petal. You're running illegal firmware. One anonymous tip and the syndicate will be drilling a hole in that pretty little head of yours. The choice is yours. I can decrypt the data for you, or you can walk out of here. Whatever you do, you'll still be hearing from me. One of these days. <sighs> you bitch! You got that right. Come over here. Let's take a look at what you found. Okay. I guess we have no choice but to uh, give her the data for decryption. Um, that's what I meant to do. Oh, I guess that doesn't work. Guess we should just talk to her. Smart girl. Just shut up and get on with it. That's the spirit, Kutria. Now stand still, this won't hurt a bit. There, done. That's it? Told you it wouldn't hurt. Basic encryption, standard syndicate protocols. Let's take a look. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Financial transactions, Petal. Big ones. From various shadow accounts into the party's campaign. Well, fuck me. What do we have here? Unity's taking bribes. Well, yes, obviously. These are just standard corporate shadow accounts. Won't be too hard to trace the transactions. No, I'm talking about the rest of it. There are detailed records of meetings between Ominskar and Konstantin Wolf, arranged and attended by Watikorp officials. What? Jesus Christ. The mother chords have kept files on everything, like it's just business as usual. What a bunch of gandas. And look at this. You know there's been talk about regulating the dream machine? Uh, yeah. Uh... Uminsk has been an outspoken proponent for regulation, and... According she... to this, if Unity wins, Uminsk is going to give Wati a card blank to sell dream machines and operate dream emporiums in Europolis. Wati Corp will be able to provide government-licensed dream time access to everyone, everywhere, all the time, unrestricted. So Uminsk is not the messiah this city was hoping for after all. There goes my vote. To shit. So, 
Wh what are you saying exactly? I'm saying the bribes and kickbacks are only part of the story, Betel. I'm saying Ominskar is collaborating with both Konstantin Wolf and Watiko. And fuck knows who else. Whether it's for money or power or some other reason, who knows? They can't both win the election. In other words, it's bad. Badder than bad, Petal. This could be the biggest, baddest thing since the last time Watikorp was in the news for trying to fuck us over. I still don't understand what Uminska stands to gain from collaborating with Wolf and European Dawn. Well, I'm sure the answer's in there. Somewhere. There's terabytes of this shit. We've only scratched the surface. But this is not my problem, it's yours. Take it. Oh, shit. I don't know what to do. You're not going to go selling it to the highest bidder, are you? You obviously don't know me. I respect data. This is all yours. Do with it as you please. But if I may offer a suggestion, that data belongs to the world. Keeping it secret benefits absolutely no one. If I were you, I'd publish it anonymously and let the rest take care of itself. I don't know. Whatever you do, Betel, you'll want to tread carefully. Heads will roll. Make sure one of them isn't yours. I'll make damn sure it's not mine. I've uploaded the data to your iris, locked to your voice print. It's your problem now, Kutria. Time to leave. And please don't come back, ever. Okay, well that's a big question. Do we give the data to Baruti or to Hand? If we give it to Baruti, maybe he'll be able to do something about it from inside the campaign. But if things are as bad as they seem to be, then it will probably just put Baruti in danger. And giving it to the Hand would at least get the news out and hopefully it will prevent Uminska and Wolf, for that matter, from getting elected. So that's our choice here. Bring the data to Sully at the hand that feeds, or bring the data to Baruti. That's a tough one. I guess it belongs in the hands of the people. They need to know what's been going on here. On the other hand, Baruti is the one who alerted us to this, so shouldn't he have a say in it? The eye in the sky reminds you that you're doing the Oh, phone call. How are you getting on with, uh, you know, things? Actually, I just finished. Where do you want to meet? The Cabana, on Sun and Shine Plaza. <laughs> I needed some artificial stimulants to keep me going. Meet me there, whenever you're ready. Will do. Hmm. Well... I actually think it's a better idea to give it to the hand because this really needs to go public. People deserve to know what's going on here. But I kind of feel like Baruti deserves to be included in that decision. Or at least be told before we do so. So let's see what he has to say first. And he's not in the same place anymore. He is at Gavarna, the coffee shop next to our apartment. Which you may not have even noticed was here, unless you are as thorough as I am. Uh, but I did say it was on the Sunshine Plaza, so it's not that hard to find. So let's talk to him. Hey, Sissi. Thanks again for helping out. It, it means a lot to me. So, tell me. Did you get it? Oh, dear. This data won't just change our lives. It's going to affect millions of people. Is it worth it? Maybe it'll be better to keep it to ourselves and trust that the truth will come out some other way. No, that's definitely not what I want to do. I need to make a decision. Either I hand Baruti the data, or I give it to the hand. I don't think there's a right answer. I just have to follow my gut. I need to tell him what's on that stick. 
Regardless of what I do next, Baruti deserves to know. He does deserve to be at least told, even if we don't hand it over to him. I looked at the data. I know what it means. You do? I had to have it decrypted, and... You were right. It's bad. Not only is Unity taking corporate money, they're colluding with Constantine Wolf. And Uminska's personally involved. I'm sorry, I... Jesus, Zoe. Give me the data. I need to see this for myself. And now we get to decide for real. Do we want to give it to him or not? I'll let him take it from here. Whatever happens next is not up to me. It can't be up to Baruti to decide what to do with it. This belongs to everyone. I still want to go with that. He has not really convinced me of a... Uh, has not really given me a good reason to think that giving it to him is a better option than making it public. Everyone deserves to know this. I'm sorry, Baruti. Uh... Sorry? What do you mean? Okay. I need to tell him the truth, but I can't let him know that I don't trust him with the data. I can't lie to him. He deserves to know why. He does deserve to know why. It's not really that I don't trust him. I just think that it should be publicized. I can't give you the data. If this means what I think it means, you're too close to the campaign. To Uminska. I... I see. I respect you and I care about you, Baruti, but... This is bigger than us. You're implicated by proxy and so am I. It wouldn't feel right giving you the data. You're taking it to the hand. Yes. I wish you wouldn't. But I understand why you think that's the right thing to do. And... I respect your honesty. I need to get going. There are preparations that need to... to I, I, I need to prepare. Baruti... It's been a pleasure working with you, Zoe. Honestly. I wish you the very best. Poor Baruti. I wish we... didn't have to disappoint him like that, but I think ultimately it's for the best. Um, now we just have one option left, bring the data to Sully. We don't have any journal entries about this, do we? No, we do not. We have not gotten any journal entries since this day began. Alright, one more trip to make, which is back to the hand that feeds. But we'll do that in the next video.